Now, if anybody's ever heard me talk about these FBO limiter plates, that's what one looks like. Um, the difference, you probably can't see it in the, in the camera, but there's 10 degrees, 12 degrees, 18, 16, 14. And what these slots do is they limit the amount that the centrifugal advance weights can go out thusly limiting the amount of centrifugal advance in your in your distributor now the kit that i bought it comes with the springs i've got their lightest set of springs in here so that i can get my advance as early as possible and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in so that it limits it to 12 degrees total advance now this is just kind of spitballing and learning but i've always had my best luck with basically any small block Mopar at 20 initial and uh, 32 total and then vacuum advance on top of that. So that's as easy as that is to install. And I can just put the rest of the distributor together after that. And you've got what turns out to be like a really nice setup where you know exactly from your initial where your total should fall. I've checked it with my timing light for as as accurate as my timing light is it's pretty much dead nuts on at 12 degrees advance or 14 degrees advance i've tried it on a few different settings i guess the only downside to this is with the mopars you got to take a whole bunch of stuff apart and it's actually not all that big of a deal the only thing that i find to be a bit of a pain is that little c circlip thing that holds down the the next piece to go on i just maybe my fat fingers don't like doing that or what i don't know anyway that's that's what i'm doing to this distributor in an effort to make something happen a little better at the strip